What's up guys? Welcome to video number two. Today was a nice little volume push day. 4x8 on bench at an RP7 I believe. Pretty good, pretty good. Accessories felt fucking sick today, that's for sure. Everything, else, everything in my body's fried right now. Almost every gym has one of these, right? Nice lean body. This shit is so good. 40 grams of protein for like 270 calories. That's not bad at all. That's pretty damn good. My gym math is right. That's uh, 160 calories of this is uh, protein. It's pretty damn good. So I'm in block two of my uh, powerlifting, not prep, because I'm not on prep yet. It's kind of like an off-season kind of vibe. But I'm, uh, I'm on my second block right now, about to finish it. Next week is the fourth week. Then we're on the block three, probably gonna move up the top. top. Probably gonna move up the singles, maybe doubles. I don't know. I'm hoping singles, I haven't hit a top single in a very long time. But um, yeah, hopefully within the next one or two months, we'll uh, see how much I progressed. And uh, I'll be scheduling a meet. Maybe go on like a nice 16 with prep. Then uh, go smash a meet. First time ever. It's pretty good, right? Well, I got a comment on my last video saying something along the lines of stop filming in the gym. If you're not big enough to film in the gym, um, focus on eating six meals a day, blah, blah, blah. Like getting bigger before. That's how all the greats became famous because they were really big. And put in the work and all this and that. And then, bro, like, respectfully, shut up. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, do you see how many people film gym content nowadays? It's not like the old days where, oh, you gotta be. Camera ahead. Shut up. You are. It's not like the old days where you have to be, like, super huge and, like, this and that to, like, become famous. YouTube, social media, this, that. Growing up, I had a YouTube channel for playing video games. Like, YouTube's always been my hobby, right? Picked up a camera. Videography also became a hobby of mine. Like, I love it. Gym became a, like, <laughs> my lifeline a couple of years back. Like, I'm mixing all my passions and hobbies together to, like, create something super enjoyable for myself. And I don't get why people think that's so bad. Like, yeah, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the strongest. But, like, Come on, man. It doesn't affect you. Like, people get so butthurt about, like, seeing people film in the gym. Like, oh, they're so cringy. Gym sells this, that. But, like, realistically, man, like, I don't think it's that big of a problem. If, you, if it's that big of a problem, then respectfully just tell them not to get you in their shot. And honestly, in reality, if you want to do something, just put your mind to it. Everyone's always going to have something to say. So why not just do it regardless, right? Oh... Bring your camera to the gym. Oh, why are you doing that? You're small, you're a bitch, you're this, you're that. Oh, oh, social media, that's never gonna work out. Oh, do you wanna become a lawyer? Oh, good luck, buddy. You wanna become an astronaut? Oh, joke's on you, you're never gonna do that. Like 99% of the time, no one's ever gonna believe in you. Everyone's always gonna have some shit to say. Might as well just prove them wrong, right? It's disrespectful to those who believe in you if you don't keep doing it. Like me, I was once always consumed about the numbers I got. Because at first, for my amount of following, like Instagram and stuff, I was pulling very good views. I was gaining, like, really good. Like, everything was just going really good. And then I hit a plateau. And I would, like, I got so, like, not upset, but I was just like, why, man? Like, what am I doing wrong now? That it's not going the way I want it to. But realistically, once you detach yourself from all the numbers and all the bullshit that goes into social media and just do what you love doing, detach yourself from the followers, the views, the numbers, the this, and that, and do it because you want to, not because you have XYZ amount of followers and viewers and you want to gain more doing this when you don't enjoy it, when you'd rather be doing that, but it won't get you as much. Like back when I first started bringing my camera to the gym, I was nervous as shit. I have a TikTok. I'm literally saying, how do I bring this into the gym without like feeling like people are judging me? People are gonna see you in 10 seconds. They're never gonna think about you ever again. The next day, they might see you doing the same thing. Let's say you go to bring your camera into the gym and they see you again the next day. Oh, they're gonna think about you again, but guess what? Boom, right after that, they're gonna completely forget and go back to their workout. People's opinions on you really don't mean anything. 
Like it really doesn't. Like you're in your head. You're stopping yourself from doing shit because other people think it's like weird or cringy or like whatever people think. Like, I don't know. I used to like really be in my head about that. Now it's just like, what do their opinions on me and what I do really affect me? Like how does that affect me in any way, shape or form? That's just something to think about.